Hi everyone. I'd like to share a junk journal that I made for my granddaughter's 11th birthday. And um, there's a number of things that are new to me in this journal. One is that it is fabric covered. It's a fabric covered um, cereal box. And also, for the first time, I tried a hidden um, hint, or a hidden binding um, approach to um, attaching the signatures to the spine. And I think it came out okay. Another first for me is um, a dangle on the outside. Um, I, yeah, so this is, this is new. And uh, I realized after I put the whole book together that I wanted to have a little dangle and it was kind of too late to, to punch a hole in the middle um, up here. So I just used this little clip and actually I think it worked out fine. I will take it off now just so it's easier to go through. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I tend to keep my covers a little simple and I did again this time. The closure is um, currently is a um, Tim Holtz uh, hitch and a um, hairband. So, um, yeah, I, I, this is my third attempt at uh, at using um, something for the actual closure. So we'll see if that lasts, but I, I think it will. I've got a little card in here. I'll probably add a little birthday card in the front of that. And some um, paper flowers here. This pocket is made from um, denim from an old jeans, as is the rest of the, the binding. So inside I have a little um, envelope, and throughout I added um, just little fun things for her to, to use to, um, to decorate um, in the junk journal. So I'll leave that out there for now. And mostly I used... Um, this girlhood stack as my um, for my selection of papers. I didn't do any kind of um, uh, what's the word distressing. Um, and the other thing I did, I because this was kind of a jeans um, themed journal, I found this darling little pad at the Dollar Tree, and it's just got. Um, different pictures of uh, various jeans on the front and then it's, you know, each paper is white on the back. So I thought that was really cute and you'll see I've used that throughout too. Another thing I've used um, are little um, notepads also from the Dollar Tree. And what I usually do for them is um, staple three together and then tuck them into little pockets like I, like I did here. Um, another thing, I made up some, that's not the best example, but I made up some um, alcohol paint and put them in little spray bottles. And let me see, let's make this, oh, here's a good one. And then I sprayed it on just regular copy paper, but over a doily. And I used both the doilies and the the paper that I sprayed in this journal too. So you'll see that throughout as well. So mostly um, it's not too decorated. I've got a number of pockets and in the little envelopes I made from that um, um, I don't know what this, yeah. <laughs> and the envelopes I made from this little tablet of paper I put in some more um, stickers and things for her to use to decorate her journal. So I'll flip through fairly quickly because there are a lot of sort of plain pages. Some pages I used uh, stickers to, to decorate. Um, and a little bit of washi tape here and there. Here's a, a paper clip again with another envelope with some stickers. They also, the sticker set also came from the dollar store and they're actually really cute. They're like planner stickers. In the center of each of the three signatures, I put an envelope and inside the envelope I put samples of um, 
washi tape. I know she likes washi tape, so that's something else she can decorate with. And then I used a variety of um, papers and um, lace as tabs throughout. In this case, I just folded over this. I know it works. I've done it before. There's a little um, extra piece of the um, decor paper that I just washi, washi taped in there. This is the second signature here. Again, I'm flipping through really quickly. Here we are, the center of the second signature with uh, another card with various kinds of washi tape in them. Here I use the whole sheet of the um, jeans notepad with, uh, and just stapled, stapled that together in this little tiny envelope. I have little cards, or little um, stickers as well from the planner um, set. And I made a little tuck and that again opens up. Another envelope with stickers in it and then just an extra piece of the decor paper with a little a punch. It's a new punch that I got actually. Just got it this week. It's from EK, and I, I actually really like it. Got it from Amazon. Here's an envelope um, that I attached to the side and made a, um, a tuck out of it so that um, I could put the note pad paper there. And then on the back side, I have another little one of these envelopes that opens up, and then the envelope itself opens up and there's um, some decor paper in there folded over. There's another little tuck and this one opens up for a secret writing space and again some more note paper. Again, another envelope with washi tape samples for her to use and for decoration. And another notepad. I think this um, the spray around doilies worked really well, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. It's a lot of fun. So there you are. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm looking forward to giving this to my granddaughter and I hope she enjoys it. Has a good time with it. I appreciate your watching this. Thank you. Bye-bye.